Charles E, Charles E's, everything you need to know when you need to know it, man. So, last night, uh, just say no to Skull, his YouTube channel, Makita's daughter, Raven, she went on to answer some questions, a little Q&A, shit like that, man. You know, this is, what, two to three weeks after Dolph has been assassinated. Which gives her a little time, kind of, you know, to get her story together and whatnot. It's not like it's, it's fresh off the heels of the Dolph murder, man. Sko asked, he did it, Sko did his job. He asked what he was supposed to ask, I guess, you feel me? But I noticed Raven, it was a lot of deferring, different shit like that. You know, he said, she said, a lot of secondhand information. Oh, well, they said this, and I don't know, I'm going off what they said type shit. It's still a lot to be desired, man. Still a lot to be desired. I don't think she proved it. They, she might have proved it. The murder didn't happen inside. Wasn't nobody hiding inside, but she didn't prove that he wasn't set up still. You feel me? It's still coincidence how he got there. And the killers got there kind of at the exact same time, quote unquote, his face was in his camera, in his phone or whatever, you feel me? So, still a lot of questions to be desired, man, but listen, man, an interview was powerful. Like a, a week or so ago, Raven might have been the most hated woman. She might have been the most hated in the country, man. She got on that motherfucking, got to talking, answered a couple questions. It almost went like it was a charity case for Raven, man. This was sick. Motherfuckers was switching sides almost immediately. You feel me? This shit was crazy, man. Why? And then, and then the narrative came up. Well, it was only the people... It was only bloggers and people that wasn't in the city calling Raven, you know, set up queen, killer. You know, it's like everybody fell for it, man. Shit crazy.